Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesforce and this is Rohit and today I'm going to discuss about the Salesforce integration with the SOC and we will use Apex flows to integrate this Slack with the Salesforce and different types of webhooks as well. So if you want to learn these things, so please like, share, comment, subscribe the channel, also turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never be miss any kind of update from my site. So let's get started without any further delay and also I requested you all, please watch this video until end if you want to learn some, you know, new topics or new tips and tricks regarding the Salesforce and integration. So please, first thing first, first of all, you have to create your account on this Slack and if you have like desktop application, well and good, otherwise you can use the web version as well. So I have already created the, you know, web application here. You can see this is my workspace and this channel. Okay. And this is an API and like Slack API.com, right? So you have to do one thing. Just click on the, your application and create new application. Okay. So just click on the create application from the scratch and give your app name. Let's say demo okay and you have to select your workspace and click on the create app once you create the create app you can see lots of things right so just you have to go to the incoming web hooks because right now we have to work on the incoming web hooks here this one just click on this activate incoming web hooks and create add new web hooks just click on it and after some time you can see that your channel like apex this uh, agent messages allow it and once you allow it after some time you can see the your webhooks url so you have to copy this webhooks url and paste it into your apex code we will see the apex code after a few seconds so you have to keep in your mind these things okay so let's move on the apex part so this is my simple apex class because i want to integrate this apex class with the flow so that's why you can see my invocable method and label is send select message and this is the method like send message from flow and it's asking the list of messages as a string right and after that this is the main method like send message and it's accept only string parameter this is basic call out as you know very well so just you have to keep in your code like this and i'm using like external credential and the name credential so you can see my call outs colon slack channel nc right so you can use any name as you want based on your need let's see the name credential as well as external credential so this is my name credential so once you click on it like name credential you can see the name credentials now this is the external one so once you click on the name credential you can see the external credential in the external credential I'm using my webhooks URL. You can see this one, and this is the principle. So without principle, you cannot use this external name credential. That's why you have to create the principle. After that, just move to the name credential, and this is the name credential, and I'm using that external credential inside my name credential. After that, you have to create one permission set and to assign uh, your user. Right now, I'm a system admin. That's why I can use this permission set to manage these all external credentials and come down in the external credential just click on it and you have to enable it so here you can see the edit button right so that's why you can see this external credential principle axis here right so this is the prerequisite to integrate this slack with salesforce right after that you have to create the flow so i have already created the flow here you can see this is the screen flow and it's a very simple flow so in first screen i'm just using the text area because i need to send you know number of messages at a time so you can see this enter message area and this is a text area and this is a simple screen after that you can see the main action under the action you can see the send slack message so it is coming from my apex class in the label you can see the send slack message right so here you can see the action you can add the action click on this plus icon and action this is the basic structure to add the action and here i'm just taking the message from the user that's why you can see the messages enter message after that the result in the result i just use my message sent successfully to the slack and one gif image right so this is the you know prerequisite to implement and to display these all things in a semi screen okay so 
once you've done these all things, now you have to test your flow, it's working or not. And before that, let me tell you one thing. Here you can see the send Slack message, right? So in the text, I just use this label like send Slack message. I want to change it like one, two, three. So send Slack message one, two, three, right? Just save this and deploy it. Once you deploy it, now you will be see the different name of this one. Let me refresh this flow. And once you refresh it, now you will be see the different name of the my Apex class invocable method. So just click on it. Now you can see send Slack message one two three. So you can easily recognize or you can easily identify which Apex action invocable for this flow. Okay, like that. Let's see in the action. Let me click on this debug and let me send the message to the Slack. So just run it. It's asking like enter message. So let me enter the message here. Let's say hey. How are you? Something like that, right? Like, hey, how are you? Something like that. Click on the next button. And once you click on the next button, immediately you can see message sent successfully to the Slack. And it's a confirmation. And also you can debug your flow using this uh, debug details and message, enter message. And this is the message actual value. And in the you know, Slack, we already selected the channel. That's why in the Slack, agent message, now you can see the message like, hey, how are you? In the, this is my web version. You can use the desktop as well, desktop application. So right now you can see the agent is the channel name here, right? This is the workspace under the, this agent force, right? Agent force, we have this channel like agent message. That's why you can see the message. Again, let me send you, send this message again. Okay, so run it. And let's say something like that. Click on the next. And immediately you can see this match is here, like 613. And right now it's 613 here. All right. So this is how you can, you know, integrate this Slack with Salesforce with using these web hooks without any, you know, programming logic. Only just you have to make sure about the callout. And it's a very simple callout as you have, like simple HTTP, you know, request response and the send messages. And in my Apex, if you come here, now you can see simple, you know, mapping of the objects. So you can integrate like that. It's very helpful for us if you want to automate your process, you know, sending the message to the Slack or somewhere in your channel. So this is very helpful for us. So guys, I hope you learned something new in this video. So that's all. I hope you learned something new in this video. If you Want to learn more things regarding the agent force or something related to the AI in Salesforce? Please do let me comment section. I will post lots of video in upcoming days. So please keep in touch and stay healthy. Take care. Bye bye. See ya.